first time, let's just acknowledge him and welcome. Amen. I also greet each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And before we sit down, just help me to welcome our viewers, uh, wherever they may be watching from, whether it is morning, whether it's evening, we just welcome them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Welcome to when is the service. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And all the time, that is his nature. It is the nature of God that he is good all the time. Hallelujah. As we come to today's message, I want us to go back to the same scripture that uh, our sister was reading, Exodus chapter 33 and verse number 17. We just need to take something from there as we do today's message. Hallelujah. The Bible reads in the book of Exodus chapter 33 verse 17, And Jehovah said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found favor in my sight, and I know thee by name. God knows you by name. God knows me by name. Hallelujah. And God is saying, you will do this thing that you ask. Hallelujah. He will do this thing that you are desiring. Hallelujah. It is not by accident that God says that I will do this thing to each and every one of us. Many other times, we drift away from the presence of God. That's why we do not receive the things that we seek from God. Hallelujah. You know, when, you, when our brother, when he was motivating us, he said, you are praying that it should not, it should not rain, but you are still carrying an umbrella. Hallelujah. So, there is no faith in that. Hallelujah. You need to grow your faith that when you pray that it will not rain, definitely it will not rain. Hallelujah. Say, it shall not rain. And I shall not carry the umbrella. Hallelujah. The title of my message tonight is Faith. Faith. Let faith. Just hold on a second. Sorry, I'm on a wrong page. I'm going to the message that I preached some time back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is well. Hallelujah. It is well. Hallelujah. Faith that shows respect to everyone. Hallelujah. Faith that shows respect to everyone. Hallelujah. Faith that shows respect to everyone. Say faith. That shows respect to everyone. Amen. That faith that will move things. That when people see what God has blessed you with, then you know that things are happening in the spiritual realm and nothing can move you. Hallelujah. How God grows my faith. How God grows my faith. Say, how God grows my faith. How God grows my faith. Amen. God grows our faith in many different ways in our lives. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is impossible to please God without faith. Hallelujah. So if you do not have faith that who that everyone will respect, then you are not doing anything right before God. And you are not obeying God's commandments because God says, ask of anything in my name and I will do it. Can you see? He says, ask of anything in my name and I will do it. He says, the, 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 the centurion, when he went to Jesus and said, I've got my servant who is sick. Jesus said, must I come to your house to heal your servant? And, 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 the, and, and, and the centurion said, No, Lord, just say the word, and my servant shall be healed. 
and shall be well. So what kind of faith are you using in our daily to day life? I want us to, to, to see things that how God grows our faith so that whenever we pray for something, we should not be shaken. Hallelujah. But that, that thing will come to pass in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to the book of Luke. The book of Luke. The book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 17. We're going to read verse number 5. The apostles say to the Lord, show us how to increase our faith. The apostles said to the Lord, show us how to increase our faith. Amen. You may be asking yourself this question as well. You see many people in the house of the Lord testifying every day, but you do not testify. You have prayed for years, for many years, and nothing is happening. Nothing is there to show off about. But here the apostles went to the Lord. The apostles could do many things that they saw that our God was saying, our Lord was saying, was doing. And they practiced that thing, and that thing would work. Hallelujah. But they also needed their faith to increase. There was a time when they went to pray for the people who were demon-possessed and they could not cast out the demons. And they went to the Lord and said, but Lord, we prayed. And these things, they did not run away. They did not go away. Hallelujah. But their faith was so little. But the Bible tells us that you, if you have faith as little as a mustard seed, you can ask or tell this mountain to move and it will move. Hallelujah. Say, for example, if I am holding a, a phone like this, and I say I'm going to throw it to Brother William. If I do like this, he's expecting that he's going to catch the, the phone. Hallelujah. That's the kind of faith that we need to have in our lives. So that you do not shake when they say, oh, you are healed. Amen. There was one of our sisters who testified, he says, you know when you go to daddy's office and you say, dad, this thing is happening in my life, dad will just say, it is well. And now you are asking yourself, but dad, dad didn't touch me, but he just said, it is well. That's the faith that you need when, when the man of God says, it is well, you know that it is well indeed. Yeah. Hallelujah. I used to have this, you know, this shakable faith. This, I, I used to have this little faith. Until one time, the man of God said, you have a new job. And I said, amen. It wasn't even a week. A man, the Bible here, we read that favor will locate you. Hallelujah. The scripture that we read in, in Exodus says, and favor will locate you. Favor will follow you. And this man just phoned me, says, you know what? They are asking for someone who can be an operations manager. I never applied for that job. But the man of God prophesied. And I said, Amen. And I received that prophecy. And I started to work on that prophecy. Faith. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing. And only hearing the word of God. Amen. As we hear this word of God, faith begins to increase in our lives. Amen. As we hear someone testify, the faith begins to increase in our lives. Faith is a very, very active thing until you practice it. But if you don't practice it, it is a dormant word called faith. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for but not yet seen. You are hoping that you will fly to Dubai but you don't got no money. But because you've got faith in God, someone will provide for you. Hallelujah. That's how God operates. Hallelujah. Say, I'll operate, I'll operate. In, high in high faith. And my faith, and my faith shall increase. Faith. In Jesus' name. Hebrews, the book of Hebrews chapter 11. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. 
verse 6. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists. That's the first thing. You must always believe that God exists. Hallelujah. That God exists. If you do not believe that God exists, there is no way you can receive. Because it will be just like magic to you. The word will be just like magic. Oh, God exists. God doesn't exist. Hallelujah. And that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. They sincerely seek him. How much do you seek God? How much are you in the presence of God? We were taught about the glory of God. You know, on Sunday, it was the powerful service. I sat there and I'm looking at that. I'm like, this glory of God. I was imagining how the glory of God was operating in the olden days. The Bible says, the spirit of God was hovering upon the face of the deep. Upon the face of the waters. You know the spirit of God is still hovering even here right now. But if you do not believe that the Spirit of God is hovering upon this place, faith will never increase in you. Because whatever you desire, whatever you pray for, you do not have that desire. You do not have that glory of God. The Bible says the glory of God will shine over you. The glory of God is shining over us. Amen. The Bible says thick darkness will cover the earth and it will cover God's people. It was in the time of the pandemic. It covered the earth. But God was still in existence. God was still hovering. And God wanted you to be in his presence. Many people drifted away from the presence of God. They moved away from the umbrella of God. And the glory departed away from them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith will only increase when you hear God's word. You repeat hearing the same word now and then, now and then. How does faith increase? Faith increases when you hear the word of God. Faith increases when you hear the testimony from other people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say my faith, my faith will increase in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 9. The book of Matthew, chapter 9. Matthew, chapter 9, verse 29. Matthew, chapter 9, verse 29. The Bible reads, Then he touched their eyes and said, Because of your faith, it will happen. Because of your faith. And it will happen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I, I have come to understand what the word of God says in our lives and what it means in our lives. When the servant of God mentions something, when he says there will be prayer and fasting, and we need to deal with this thing, let's deal with that thing. It doesn't matter how you're going to deal with that thing, but deal with that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I teach things to encourage people, the things that happened into my life, not other people's lives. Hallelujah. The man of God says, I prophesy, I see a car. And I, and I was wondering, but dad, he saying, I see a car. Me, my car is broken down. I have no car and I'm walking. But when I reached home, I said, but dad said, I see a brand new car. Amen. That is my brand new car, it is coming. You know, it wasn't even after two weeks. It wasn't even after two weeks. Exactly the same way that he said. I was just browsing on Facebook and I saw a car and I applied for it. And the lady said, the car is yours. I said, but I haven't, I haven't done anything, no paperwork. He said, that car is yours. It was like a joke. I was supposed to preach this message last week, Wednesday. And they were supposed to deliver the car around 14.30. The car was delayed by Saturn. 
the devil, little Lucifer, delayed the car. My father always says, little Lucifer. That's the word I use as well. It's too small for me. Because he cannot challenge me. I, my wife asked me, ah, has the car arrived? I said, no, it hasn't. He said, just pray. I stood there. I said, just pray. Okay. I said, I bind every power of Satan. Every spirit of delay. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I just walked from the stairs to the gate. The phone call came. Well, are you still at the house? I said, I'm about to leave to go to church. He says, where is your church? I said, it is in Kempton Park. He says, we will deliver the car to church. Amen. And they delivered the car to the church. Amen. Can you see how the devil operates? You need to increase your faith. Increase it. Believe the word that is spoken in our lives. Amen. When the word says, you will receive, you will receive. Amen. Our father used to say, when I declare things, lambano it. Grab it. Say, I'll grab every opportunity, every prophecy that the word of God says in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then he touched their eyes and said, because of your faith, it will happen. And it has happened. Say, it will happen. Also for me, in my life, in, my life. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Let your roots grow down into him. Him who? Him who? In Jesus, in God. He is our rock. He is our strong tower. Amen. We run to God because we know that whatever he says, it comes to pass. The Bible says his promises are yes and amen. amen. Full stop. There is no any other thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Colossians 2 verse 7. Let your roots grow down into him. And let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong. In the truth you were taught. In the truth you were taught. The same way that we are teaching right now. Hallelujah. The same way that our father teaches us every day. The same way that we are being taught in the youth. The same way that is being taught in the women of excellence. The same way that is being taught in Moi. Hallelujah. Amen. Let it be rooted. In the truth you were taught. And you will overflow with thanksgiving. You will overflow with thanksgiving. We have overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of our testimony. Amen. Our testimonies. There are so many. Daddy says there are so many testimonies. That people haven't even shared. Amen. That is just one of my testimonies. Just one. Amen. There are many. There are many. Even my wife has got a testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. She wanted to travel home to go and attend the conference. No money. Someone says, I'll sponsor you. And Amen. the ticket is there. Amen. That is the God we serve. Every word that is spoken on this altar, it is a reality. Amen. It is a reality. We are teaching the word. We are not preaching. We are teaching the word. Amen. We teach the word in this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth. You were taught and you will overflow with thanksgiving. Oh my God. We need to give thanks to the Lord. We need to give thanks to the Lord. How do God grow our faith? Let us look at two things. Number one, through knowing God's word, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. But you and me are knowledgeable of the word of God. 
The word of God says he sends his word and his word heals us and delivers us from every destruction. He says his word shall not go void, but it shall accomplish that that it is purposed for. Wow. Say the word word. is powerful. So number one, through knowing God's word. Hallelujah. Romans 10 verse 17. A very familiar scripture that we all know, but we can quickly go there. Romans 10, verse 17. So faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing good news about Christ. About Christ. Good news about Christ. Number two. God grows our faith through circumstances that test us, that test me and you. Hallelujah. Here is another example that I'll give you. I give a person to repair my car from November last year. This man is saying, I'll bring the car tomorrow, I'll bring the car tomorrow. Someone gives me a car to use, and then that car just breaks down, and then you've got no car to use. Can you see how God operates? God makes you pass through circumstances so that you are built and you are tested. Joseph was thrown into the pit. From the pit he was sold as a slave. And after being sold as a slave, he becomes a governor. And he starts now helping his own brothers So, my testimony will build you. My testimony will increase your faith. Can you see how God operates? He puts you first into those trials and tribulations. He doesn't say, when I put you into this situation, it is the time that you need to depart from the presence. No. It is the time that you still need to remain in God's presence, in God's glory. Hallelujah. Moses, when he was walking in the bush, when he saw the burning bush, he did not run away. He wanted to go closer to the burning bush. Can you see? Going closer to the glory of God. Not running away from the presence of God. Hallelujah. That's how you increase your faith. You don't run away from the presence of God. You remain in God's presence. Hallelujah. Say, I will remain in God's presence. presence. Hallelujah. God is amazing. He will test us first of all and see if we are able to stand what is going to happen to us. If the children of Israel, when they were moving for 40 years, they had given up, they were not going to enter the promised land. And even when they went, when they reached where they were going, when they found the war, I'm just imagining if I found the war and I want to go behind, I'm sure I'll just give up and just turn back and start going backwards. Hallelujah. But they did not give up. God told them to say, go around these walls for seven days. We are going to have a one day of prayer and fasting. It is not the time to run away from God's presence. It's the time to be in the house of the Lord. Say, I'll be there. I'll be there. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to look at four things that, have, that we go through into our day-to-day lives that also can increase our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to just look at four things that can make us grow. When God tests us, our faith increases But what are these things that God tests us with? Amen. Amen. Joseph had a dream. God tests us in a dream. Can you see? God will test us in a dream. If Joseph did not follow that dream that he had, I don't think he was going to go where he was going to go. Because he continued to say, I dream that one day my brothers, ah, you're going to bow before me. And you know, our brother said, ah, no chance. You young boy will come and bow before you. There is no chance. Amen. Amen. But Joseph knew 
that the glory of God was with him. The hand of God was with him. Ezekiel, when he was in the valley of dry bones, he was still in the presence of God. When God said, prophesy to these bones, for him it was like he was dreaming. It was like a dream to him. But he did not move away from the dream. Because God showed him to say, go and prophesy to the dry bones. Amen. And he did exactly what God showed him to do. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God tests us and grows our faith through dreams. Hallelujah. How do you know that this dream is from God? Number one, it will help someone. It will help someone. Joseph's dream helped his brothers and sisters. Helped his family. Your dream. There's something that I always pick up. I, my, my wife always asks me, why do you always give examples of dad? I said, you know, there's always something I pick up from dad. He says when he was traveling, he took a nap. And God started speaking to him through the nap. God said, Christian Life Center, CLC. You and me are here today because of the dream that the servant of God received from God, an instruction from God, CLC. He did not know what CLC was. But he kept on asking, what is CLC? What is Christian Life Center? It will help someone. That's how you know that dream is from God. Hallelujah. Number two, it will be so big. It will be so big. That testimony will be so big that God will need to be involved. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the, the thoughts that I have towards you. The plans that I have towards you. To prosper you and not to harm you. Can you see? God knows exactly what you want. But he wants you to be right there in his presence, in his glory. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to the book of um, the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 20. Very powerful scripture. We used to meditate upon this scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Very powerful scripture. Ephesians 3. Verse 20, the Bible reads, Now, all glory to God, who is able, say who is able, who is able. through his mighty power at work within us, <laughs> within us, uh, within us. So, we were taught by mom to say, you are a little God. If you are God, God created us in his own image. So if you are a God, when you say, you grass come here, it must come to you. When you say money come to me, it must come to you. We started prophesying, CEO, chief executive doctor, is the CEO now. Can you see how God operates? Speak the word. Speak things into being and they shall come to pass. Don't say you are, you are telling your child, you are a failure in life. The child will fail. I, from the day our child was born, I always say, Dr. Christy Hara. I know she's going to be a doctor. Because I said it. I did not say the words that my father or my grandmother used to say, ah, you, you will fail. You will not make it. Uh -uh. We are saying, she will be a doctor. Amen. She's intelligent. Amen. We always tell us, Dad, she will tell you, Dad, I've already studied. One day I was asking myself, I don't see you study. So I was waiting for the results. The results came. She had all sevens. Amen. A's. And I'm like, wow. So, prophes prophesy, speak things into being. Amen. And they'll come to life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number three, it comes with a supernatural sign. Say it comes with a supernatural sign. It comes with a supernatural sign. 
Hallelujah. Supernatural sign. Supernatural sign. Let's go to the book of John. The book of John. John chapter 6, verse 13 and 14. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets, scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five belly loaves. When the people saw him to do this miracle, to do this miraculous sign, they exclaimed, Surely, he is the prophet we have been expecting. Hallelujah. It comes with divine supernatural sign. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John 6 verse 26. Verse 26. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. You want to be me because I fed you, not because you understood the miraculous signs. Faith is not just by seeing signs. Faith is by hearing the word. And you don't just be a hearer of the word. Be the doer of the word. Amen. Let it operate in your body, in your soul, and in your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, it, it, shall it shall operate in my life. In my life. Hallelujah. Amen. It also, it contains divine wisdom. It contains divine wisdom. Acts chapter 2. The book of Acts Chapter 2. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Hallelujah. I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. And your old men will dream dreams. Amen. Supernatural dreams. Amen. You see why I always say, every time I pick up something from that, he says, I had a very beautiful dream. I had a very wonderful dream that my children were driving nice cars. They were living in nice suburbs. They were eating good food. And I take those words. I start using them. I don't care where the money is going to come from. Because the Bible says, <laughs> power comes from God. Because he's the one who gives power to get wealth. It is not me going to work every morning. Uh -uh. It is not me going to the business every morning. God gives me the power. He gives me the idea and knowledge to get that money. How I'm going to pay for that house in that nice suburb. Hallelujah. Say, I'll live in that suburb. I'll drive that nice car. Mean the words that you speak. And it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Say, it shall come to pass. In our lives. Hallelujah. God tests and grows our faith through delays. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse number 3. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse number 3. I will read from the Living Bible. The Bible reads, But these things I plan won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. If it seems slow, do not despair. For these things will surely come to pass. Just be patient. They will not be overdue Amen. a single day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the word of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Let's just give the hand of praise to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I welcome our Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.